What's good, y'all? Triple N the King. Triple N the King with another video here. We got Sean Head with the War on Normal Guys. I'm a normal guy. You're a normal guy, girl. And uh, I've heard what happened from other YouTubers. Then I don't know. I couldn't find this video, so I guess I have to watch it like this. I guess. Eh, let's get into it publicly friends with Turkey Tom. He is friends with Mudahar. He is publicly friends with Shu on Head, who is a conservative masquerading as a leftist. Okay. A few days ago, I saw this video pop up in my YouTube feed. Bad conservative horror movies. And I was immediately intrigued. I love long video essays about stupid shit like this. But what I got- What's with the- What's with the shirt? Did you come from a vacation? Did you just- are you like in Hawaii right now? Just grab an American flag, a microphone, a random light, and just put it there and just start recording? Hmm, respect, if that's the case. But instead was the worst attempt at a hit piece I have ever seen on YouTube, ever. So sit down and get comfy, because it's time for an old-fashioned video response. <laughs> cry, babe, cry, Now before bone, we get into this video, bone. I just want to thank today's sponsor, you. This video oh. is sponsored by all of you who donate to me on Patreon.com. Thank you nice. all very much. I made you some cookies. These oh. are just for the people who support me on Patreon. Only they get a cookie. Not you. Okay. I see you, freeloader. Anyway, I've been pretty busy lately doing personal- I, I feel called out, but hey. Hey, I'm a reaction channel, so yeah. I mean. ...life things, but when this went down, I was like, I can't not respond to this but by the time i was done with the script the man had already deleted the video after okay, it was downvoted why. to hell but even though the video is gone i still want to respond to it for three reasons one i am directly involved in this two i'm tired of these type of people running their mouths and three this topic is pretty time and you're married cool yeah it's america and that topic is what i like to call the war on normal guys. Last year I wrote a script for a video with this title and it was about the YouTuber Wendigoon being canceled on Twitter. For those of you mm -hmm. who don't know, Wendigoon is a popular YouTuber oh, yeah. who makes video about true crime, horror, and cryptids. And no, despite popular belief, Wendigoon has nothing to do with gooning. Huh? Wendigoon is what uh, most YouTubers okay. who don't make political videos should be. His channel is completely apolitical. I don't like clicking a video about iCarly and then having to listen to you about how much you hate Trump or clicking a video about Fallout and hearing you go off about how Joe Biden sucks. I don't care. If I wanted I want to hear Milkto's political opinions, I would watch my own videos. But no, despite being non-political, Wendigoon is a great channel. He has a good community. He's very positive. He's a Sunday school teacher. He has a beautiful nice. wife. He's friendly funny and kind which of course makes him an enemy to the most annoying people on earth month after month after month i would see threads on twitter and on reddit about how what a terrible person wendigoon was but when i would go searching for reasons why there was really nothing besides vibes i simply do not like wendigoon he has bad vibes coming off him like stinky lines. The vibes on this guy have never been right. I live in the Bible Belt. He has the vibes of the kids who would have been comfortable saying racist and homophobic slurs and bullied me in grade school. He okay, that that's uh, feel okay. That feels like projecting right there, person. When I look at Wendagoon, he looks like Wendagoon. Wendagoon. I feel like he's like the type of guy in that one gaming store that sells games and action figures and stuff like that that you go there the first while you feel odd going in there you know just buying stuff you looking like you're not buying something that you want then over time he's like you know like it, it just feels like he with the type of person I'll, I'll not forget when i'm growing up you know like from a little kid going to a gaming store he that type of guy just he'll he'll, he'll his eyes are like shine just hearing my child body just say hey i want to know what, what the story behind this character is and he'll just be Aesthetic, just to hear, just to explain to this little boy of how this lore, how this story works. And if I grow up, or if I am grown up, like he'll be the type of guy. If I go to work now and I go work with him, he'll be the funnest guy to work with. Not gonna lie. So 
Just saying. Always gave me weird vibes. Deeply uncomfortable vibes from this guy. I initially unfollowed him because I started getting weird vibes from him. There are evil energies surrounding this man. Wait, what'd he do? He used to be a youth pastor. Some people got weird vibes, and that's fair. It's rare to see a youth pastor with good vibes. What did Wendigoon do? Honestly, a lot of it is just the vibes. I needed more. I needed to hear some real reasons why people disliked this guy. I needed real argument. Okay. There's a lot of people I don't talk to. No, I still talk to people. They have bad vibes, but I still talk to them. I still watch their videos. So... Hi, that's on you, bro. That's your issue. I needed a living soy jack meme with a pedo mustache and bisexual lighting to string up and beat like a pinata. Enter in Praise of Shadows, aka Zane, a leftist video essay is straight out of the aging millennial hipster factory. Seriously, why do they all look like this? What genre of man is this? The mustache, the hair, the clothing, poke the cap, the jacket. What, what's with the cowboy? What's with the jacket? This is not 1986, bro. This is not 1986, bro. Most ironic neo redneck. You know how some people talk about how women's taste in men gets all weird and fed up when they're on birth control? These are the men. I'm gonna call them birth control hot. I'm in no position to talk about style. I still do my makeup like it's 2009. Zane. Hey, it looks still looks good. And is a horror movie video essayist who, for some reason, decided to randomly go after Wendigoon and several other. Dude, this is the most weirdest combo, bro. I'm sorry. What's What's underneath this guy? Is that like like a wide white shirt or what is that? Whoa, whoa. Like what is this? Like yo. They're popular YouTubers and myself. His video starts off with him complaining that he got a lot of hate for his take about the movie Hills Have Eyes. The hill people can be representative of anything that you want them to be really. They can be Native Americans and the hills themselves can be allegorical of them being forced back onto reservations. You saw a bunch of cannibal mutants and thought of Native Americans? Okay, that's a bit racist, not gonna lie. Anyway, he goes on to talk about how people were misrepresenting him. Or xenophobic, I don't leaving know. Leaving rude comments. The cruel and untrue things that you say about another person <laughs> do in fact have direct impacts on them and the way that people culturally see them. Are these your Irony. own genuine original thoughts and criticisms that you have based on my actual words and things that I have done or that maybe you haven't thought critically about what you were reading online? about other people. And about how after this video, apparently a lot of his subscribers stopped watching him and now he's poor and can't afford rent. There was a month last year where I only made $500 in ad revenue. I can't live off that. Which if you're ever at- $500. I'm in South Africa, so 500, yo. Me getting $10 is a yo, a yo, yo. If I got 500, yo, that's like half. That's like 15K, bro, yo. That's like 15k, bro. Yo! I can Yo, I can't- Yo! Yo! That's a lot. Yo! At this point, you need to get a job, or at least a side job. That's capitalism meritocracy. Either make better content, or get a job. Hey, maybe if we get communism, you can be the community YouTuber. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Your ass is going to the mines! Then finally, an out- I don't know how communism exactly works, but I know it's America, my country, other countries in Africa, communism, they have communism, that's, yeah, communism, no, not communism, capitalism, sorry, capitalism, then, I don't know how this works, I'm not, po 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 I'm not into politics, so, uh, please don't tell me in the comments, please don't tell me, I don't want to know, I don't care, so, peace. conservative horror movies. But then suddenly, seemingly out of nowhere, it was like he accidentally uploaded a schizophrenic meltdown. In the video, he put Wendigoon in a video about movies. If you're not aware, Wendigoon is a horror conspiracy theorist YouTuber with several million subscribers that, as you will hopefully come to see, should not be seen as the whole- Should I react to Wendigoon in this channel? I really like his videos, so. I think I should, you know. Some southern friendly dad persona that he has publicly constructed around himself in the past several years. And that like many people who talk about being Christians as much as he does, has a dark past with deep ties to far-right extremism. Ooh, this sounds pretty bad. 
He's not the heckam wholesome YouTube dad we all thought. What could he have possibly done? There are many things that are red flags that we could talk about, from the bizarre gun ownership. <laughs> Yike! Bruh, I wish I could own a- Yo, a gun, you- <laughs> I'll be praying every day to get robbed of that gun, you know? An American man owns guns? Not very heckin' wholesome, Wendigoon. He goes on to talk about how Wendigoon is rich, and therefore he doesn't respect Wendigoon's opinion on media. He became exceptionally wealthy by the time that he was 19 or 20. I have no need or desire to hear five hours of opinions on Blood Meridian from a 21-year-old millionaire. Like, what exactly 21. is the correct amount He's of 21? money to- Oh man, I'm not making it in life, oh man. Have where your opinions still matter. Like if you suddenly got a bunch of video views and a bunch of patrons. Is he 21 though? He, he, he looked 29. Like you want, would we be justified in dismissing your opinions on movies? This honestly just feels like a conservative's idea of what a leftist is. Like, it's not just about hating people for having money. Like, what is Wendigoon's position of power in relation to the means of production? Does he own a business? Does he have employees he's mistreating? Not that I know of, he's just a guy who makes YouTube videos. Like you. Only difference is, he's good at it and makes money, and yes. you're not, and you don't. Okay, for real though, there's there's gotta be more, right? What crimes has Wendigoon committed? Well, to start, he committed the crime of having friends. Wendigoon is very publicly friends with Turkey Tom. Mm -hmm. They have been seen together on multiple- Okay, bro. Okay, T Tom, why did you just say in your caption, Gooning? Gooning? Yeah, you know what? People ruin words nowadays. Locations. And I've seen online mentions that Tom was either at his wedding or at the very least was invited. They have been seen together. I have seen online mentions <laughs> that he was at his wedding. He's saying this shit like Turkey Tom is wanted for murder and not like he just said some slurs on Discord when he was a teenager. Does this guy vet like every single person he's ever been friends with or spoken to? Hey, before you enter my house, I'm gonna have to go through your Discord history from seven years ago. I was gonna say no, but... <laughs> I can see this guy doing that. Wendigoon is publicly friends with Donut Operator, and even retweeted a photo- Like, yeah, let, man, let me go through your search history, bro. I wanna know who you are. I wanna know who you support politically, ANC or DA. Hmm, I wanna know. I wanna know. Hmm, are you on my side or are you on their side, bro? Are you the friend or enemy? Are you compadre or no padre? Now I pissed off the Mexicans. Do Mexicans even watch my thing? I think they did at one point, but now I definitely lost them. But I am my friend or not. And I don't need that type of friend in my life, I swear. Gun crazed, very far right YouTuber with 4 million subscribers. His content is very pro state, pro cop, pro gun, and pro death to people who don't share his beliefs propaganda. For example, one of his videos is titled Pred why? Okay, I'm looking at the top. Look, look at the top. It says "teen girl killed by father ram father's rampage." Okay, uh, cop versus. Okay, pro cop, right? Cop versus chief. Cop fights the chief of police. Mm, it sounds like a neutral thing to me right now, as I'm looking. Man rob man borrows officer service weapon dies. Oh oh oh. Oh, okay. takes shotgun to the face. I love the example he used is a literal pedophile being killed. He's very pro-death for people who don't share his beliefs. Take, for example, this pedophile. Is that what you mean by people who don't share his beliefs? Out of all the videos, why that one? You're not gonna find many people who are gonna be like, oh no, the poor child molester. Nah, I swear, I'm gonna pull up to that murder scene and just sit on my camp chair and like, yeah, officers did a good job. <laughs> Well, maybe you will, but most people won't. Also, no. he's trying to act like Donut Operator is just a complete simp for the police, and he's really not. Even in the screenshot you show in the background, there's like three whole videos in frame where he's clearly yeah, being yeah. critical of the- Oh yeah, it says teenager killed by police. Yeah, yeah, he is being critical. Bad shot. What about the one where we give a guy, the where police give a guy a gun? What about that one in the top? But uh, he's, he, yeah. Police. For someone who supposedly is so very anti-government, Wendigoon seems very comfortable with a man who makes his living worshipping violence committed by the state. And the only thing that one could reasonably gather from this picture of them hugging is that he too is a fascist bootlicker himself. 
actually, we can't reasonably gather anything Mm -hmm. because you haven't given us anything to gather. You label this guy very far right, and he might be very far right, but but you haven't shown anything very far right. Like, take a step back and evaluate the bare basics of what you just showed us. When Dagoon hugging someone who thinks it's okay when a pedophile dies. Okay, but let's be fair. Maybe there's more. Maybe there's something worse. Let's see. He is friends with Brandon Buckingham, a gun YouTuber who has been accused of threatening rape. Okay, so first of all, let's rewind. This guy is not a gun tuber. This just proved this man did absolutely no research. I'm talking like two seconds going to this guy's channel amount of research. And for those who are unaware, that thing is a complete lie. It is a complete lie. Do I have to blur that that R word? Do I have to? I feel like I should. YouTube, yeah. I'm not taking that chance with YouTube again. I made up by sit down, Sneeko. Sneeko made that up and Sneeko had to apologize. No, I should watch a video about Sneeko if you know which one I'm talking about. Yo, Sneeko, Sneeko, Sneeko. And admit it was a lie because it was literal slander. I just love how in his little bread tube tryout video, he uses Sneeko as a fucking source. I mean, it's not like his other sources are any better. His other sources being Reddit. He got like 90% of this information from a thread about Wendigoon in a drama subreddit called our YouTube drama. This man like borderline plagiarized Reddit comments. Source, pee pee poo poo one two three and Sneeko. Nice job on the research you f***ing hack. Also, I love the screenshot he's using. This you bro, this you showing sympathy to someone whose grandfather is dying. He has collaborated with Nick Crowley who constantly makes money through the most morbid and shameful true crime content of showcasing the last minutes of people before they are suddenly and unexpectedly killed. So I don't know- Don't other YouTubers do that? YouTubers do that? Don't police do that? Don't the police report do that? Does that? Doesn't news networks do that? They do do that, so yeah, you're not making sense yet. Much about this guy, but it seems like your issue with him is that he makes true crime content. I mean, personally, I'm not a huge fan of true crime content, but it's extremely popular on YouTube. Crowley is similar to Windigoon, and that on the surface they seem fairly edgy, but clean enough. But then you notice that he follows less than 200 people on Twitter, and among Mm -hmm. them are the same circle with names like Wendigoon, Plagued Moth, Turkey Tom, Mr. Ballin, and Donut Operator. On the surface, they look clean enough to pass the vibe check, but then you look closer and notice he follows people who don't pass the vibe check. These people hate the police, and yet they're always like, Uh, sir, I'm gonna have to take a look at that Twitter follow list. Just absolute cop behavior. ACAB includes the follow police. Wendigoon is publicly friends with Brandon Herrera, who has made jokes that implied that he was sympathetic with public shooters who killed leftists. I've also seen people jokes. Yeah, there's people, people insinuate the her- These are the type of people I fear in my life when dealing with. They will take something that is sarcasm. Like saying like, hey, <laughs> if you give me if you if you give me too much fuel, then all these sparks will start a fire and I'll be burned alive. <laughs> That's not a joke. But I was like, but I remember I didn't say in that way. I said in my language, I was like, Ishan, there was a point where someone brought like a lot of paraffin because there's no electricity, right? And they were like, man, if you bring too much, then this place could be a bomb. I said in my language, let me translate it like that. If you bring too much fuel, this place be a bomb, right? Nope, everyone laughed. Everyone got the sarcasm, right? But there'll always be that person, that person who'd be like, man, don't play like that. You, you know, death is a serious thing. And I'm like, bro, I am joking. Yo. Herrera was with Windigoon in the days of being part of the Boogaloo movement, but I cannot find substantial proof on if this is true or not. But I've seen several Boogaloo comments boy. saying this, so online it is at least culturally believed to be true. Hey guys, I heard praise of shadows a dog. Yeah. No, I don't have any proof, but it's oh, culturally sarcasm. believed to be true. <laughs> he is friends with Oompaville, a gun-obsessed content creator. Oompaville do. He's not even political whatsoever. I guess that's the problem, isn't it? But no, you're a bad person if you shot a gun even once. This is America. That's like saying you're a bad person if you ate a cheeseburger. His other example of Oompaville being bad is making videos about Nikocado Avocado. As if anyone and their mother has not made a Nikocado Avocado video. This is ridiculous. There's, th- There has to be more. He is friends with Mudahar. Uh. Mudahar? Mudahar! Oh, okay. Really? If someone can't be friends with Mudahar, they can't be friends with anyone. Uh, that dude is like 
so not problematic. And has recently policy. showcased a great deal of transphobia in his most recent video. Okay, nothing in Mudahar's video was transphobic at all. I don't even know why. He was talking about a creator who had very deep issues, got arrested because he did something with his mother. Let me not go, let me just go into He was just covering something that's public, that's not illegal to talk about. Who kind of is a translator? Just not. Nah, let me not know. Let me not go in. Let me not get into this. Okay. Um, let's, let's Isn't transphobia? And I wish that we could like move past this and just treat trans people like human beings and not yeah. like these like delicate little angels that we need to like step on eggshells around. It's really weird. Who argued against Andrew Tate being deplatformed from social media websites? He believes in the concept of free speech for everyone. Wow. Just like the Nazis. This is what you're using to paint Mudahar as a bad person in order to paint Wendigoon as a bad person. Good for you. You're running out of paint, bro. bro. Wendigoon is publicly connected to the internet historian and has even appeared in his videos. The internet historian publicly said that his birthday was April 20th. It is not. And has only said that as a joke because that is Hitler's birthday. Ah yes, April 20th, Hitler's birthday. There are no other jokes surrounding the number 420. It's smoking? a f weed joke. Oh, it's yeah, like making a joke about joke. the number 69. This is either smoking. extremely dishonest mm. manipulation, saying April 20th instead of the number 420 so people wouldn't notice, or you are profoundly mentally retarded, sir. Who the f is a joke about 420 and automatically thinks Hitler? I'll tell you who. Somebody with preconceived notions about others. Everyone is already a bigot, so everything they say is bigoted, instead of the other way around. Looking at bigotry and coming to the conclusion that that person's a bigot. No, you have this insane hater tunnel vision, which is why you're coming to insane conclusions like this. We could talk about the time that Nick Spears did a video about the disturbing movie Iceberg, who is a great horror trans creator, and in the comments of her video, he said, we will be watching your career with great interest, which is just kind of gross. That is a line. Yeah, we are. Dude, that's a compliment. We'll be watching your career with great interest. Basically saying, we'll continue watching as you progress. My guy, this is the type of people I hate. And from Star Wars, you really saw him being friendly with a trans person, the trans person being friendly back, and came to the conclusion that this was transphobia? For f sake, man, she ooed at him. <laughs> have you ever sat back and thought, hey, maybe if I have to squint my eyes and tilt my head and glue my balls to my butthole in order to paint these people as Nazis, maybe they're uh, not Nazis? Okay. He has interacted positively with Garant Thumb, who has said, the traditional family should be encouraged and strengthened. I see little to no support from the government or big media <gasps> that's his opinion what okay what's wrong with people Lisa? traditional families not traditional families this is how you know this video was made for one type of person and that type of person only because what the f are, we, are we supposed to be no, mad at that for someone who is supposedly anti-government he sure does seem to have a lot of wealthy white friends who actively work to uphold the values of the Mudahar american empire is not white for someone who hates the government so much, they sure have a lot of wealthy white friends who hold up the American empire. What the f are you saying? It's like lefty mad libs. He's just chucking a bunch of buzzwords at the wall and seeing what sticks. Uh, uh, capitalism, cops, white, American empire. Again, he sounds like nice. a conservative's idea of what a lefty would sound like. He sounds like a f***ing Daily Wire sketch character. <laughs> he goes on to talk about more Twitter accounts Wendigoon follows and how some of those accounts have like problematic tweets. Now, see, I always thought fascism was hyper-nationalistic authoritarianism, but apparently it's actually when you follow people on Twitter that Walmart Noah Samson doesn't like. He has publicly interacted in a friendly way with the account Rock Solid on multiple occasions. Responding to someone on Twitter makes you best friends with that person. Hey, by the way, this you, this this you being friendly with YouTuber Sophie from Mars, who is allegedly an abuser? Uh, is that you, bro? Because according uh, to your own logic, not mine, that makes you and her friends. Which makes you a bad person. Damn. And personally, I'd rather be friends with people who make jokes on the internet than someone who allegedly puts cigarettes out on their girlfriend's skin. But honestly, I wouldn't hold this against him. How is he okay. supposed to know? You throw a dart into a crowd of these people and you're bound to hit a sex pest. He is publicly friends with Shoe on Head. It's always, it's always like these guys with this look that just have the worst history like you check that background it's like my guy you should you, you should be buried under the prison you should like be in isolation you should be in gotham you know the gulag bro yo who is a conservative masquerading as a leftist who has built a career off of lazy anti-woke content 
complaining about SJWs, who says stuff like, Karl Marx rising from the grave finding out his movement has been taken over by fat, ugly, mentally ill losers. I mean... What's crazy is I could have given you like 20 examples of way worse shit that I've said over the years, but instead you choose a random joke I made on Twitter. You just went to my Twitter and found like one of the last tweets I made. This you, Wendigoon? This you, bro? Congratulating someone on their wedding day? A conservative masquerading as a leftist is so funny too because like... What? What would be the point of that? Am I like, am I waiting for like a Soros check? It would be way more lucrative as a woman on the internet to just be a conservative commentator instead of pissing off all sides like I do. Also, the term publicly friends with is so funny. He keeps saying it and like personally, it's hilarious to me because I have to be privately friends with several public figures because they are prisoners to their own audience because their own audiences are full of people like this guy so i have a lot of respect for people like wendigoon who will just talk to anyone they want to and aren't scared of these cry bullies also i think it's important to say wendigoon and i talk on twitter sometimes but we're not like best friends i've, I've never even met him in real life but because he has the audacity to tweet at me now all my opinions are his and as for the lazy accusation you got me Honestly, this all would have bothered me way more like a few years ago, but I'm so over it now. You Go ahead your... and call me what you like. I take solace in the fact that every woke idiot that comes at me eventually gets their own ass canceled into the shadow realm, and yet I remain problematic and a moron forever. And I personally can't wait until the inevitable day an army of skeletons comes marching out of your closet. What the- mm, It's always these type of guys, you know? does bother me, however, is linking Wendigoon to me in order to smear him. My friends and I aren't a hive mind. And that might be easy for most people to understand, but not for these people. People like this guy, they don't have friends. They have enemies and they have temporary allies. They have people they hate and people they will eventually throw under the bus the second that person has a problematic tweet one day. He has said many times publicly that he lives in East Tennessee. It is Okay, what's with the backgrounds of Rath? This is starting to give me a headache. Is this AI or is this, yo? Not as white as you could possibly get. Deep Appalachia. Dude, why? What is this in the background? Yo, and my lights are not that bright. Yo, I'm having a headache. Is very white country. And for the most part, is exceptionally oh. racist. Genuinely in this part of the country. I'm you have to looking. assume that any white person you meet is racist unless they show you otherwise. Huh? Huh? Who? 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 Okay, first of all, I'm pretty sure my white friends won't be my friends anymore if they hear me say that. Yarrr, yarrr, that's, that's, that is so, you, that's so offensive in many ways. Holy sh**. All white people from Appalachia are racist until proven otherwise. He's implying Bruh. Wendigoon is low-key racist because of where he's from. He literally has no proof otherwise. No videos, no screen cap. Bro, most people ain't racist, bro. It's always that one... That one man, uh, that one individual, that one, that one man, uh, yo. that one be the biggest problem. Yo. Nothing that shows Wendigoon being racist, but you see, he has to be. So because he's from Tennessee, he secretly must be. Making a broad negative generalization about somebody based on their race, but wokely, so it's okay. Appalachia is one of the poorest areas in the country. And aren't you a poor motherfucker too? I know you don't want to hear it, but the working class revolution is not just going to be full of the purple haired Starbucks baristas. It's also going to be Billy Bob the truck driver from Tennessee. And you have more- Oh no, it's upstairs, my bad, sorry. ...in common with those guys, then you do the rich bread tubers that you're trying to suck the farts out of currently. Oh, okay. So why don't you drop the smug liberal attitude and show some class solidarity, comrade? Then, of course, there is his username. To the Algonquin people. The Wendigo is a negative spiritual symbol. He has attempted to deflect from criticism over the use of the name by saying that his grandfather was Native American. But I personally have to look at it from the hypothetical perspective, where... Say I had a black or mixed grandfather in this situation, and black people were telling me that I was doing something that was racist or offensive to them. I would then listen to what they were saying instead of claiming that I had the right to do it because I had some melanin in me. Especially Definitely. if I were more or less raised within a primarily white cultural area like the Appalachian Mountains are. <laughs> and also on top of that, just, you know... Dude, Wendekun doesn't even... 
He looks white, but there's some features that don't feel white to him. Frequently associated myself with white supremacists. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where what? was the white supremacy? He spent like 10 minutes smearing a bunch of people when to go- Yeah, where does the white supremacy come from? All you're saying is he's friends with this YouTuber, friends with that YouTuber, he has a gun. Good, if I, if I have money, bro. Yo, that, that, that would rope. That would rope. Who have a gun in it? If I had money, yo. Gun there. Gun there. Gun in my, under my bed, bro. Yo. Gun in my lamp. <laughs> bro, there be a gun everywhere. Yo. He talks to you, but not once did you show any white supremacy. Again, just haphazardly throwing just around lefty buzzwords. White supremacy. We could talk about his past and supposedly being a founding member in an online conspiracy theory group that, according to him, snowballed out of control into being a white supremacist neo-Nazi organization called the Boogaloo Boys. In 2020, they uh. killed several police officers in a drive-by shooting in Oakland hoping that black people would be blamed for the violence in an attempt to create racial tension. So basically, Wendigoon was part of a libertarian group that uh -huh. eventually became more extreme and radical over time and he no longer agreed with the goals, so he left it and he disavowed it. Uh -huh. Okay, isn't that what you want? For him to own up to his mistakes and yeah, take accountability? Did. You'd have a point if he was still involved in this group or uh... even if he was part of the group while the group was doing all these terrible things, but he wasn't. It's so funny he had to add this completely made up factoid that the Boogaloo's killed cops in order to blame it on black people, but I couldn't find that literally anywhere. In fact, I found the exact opposite. The Boogaloo boys made sure people knew it was done no. by them. And it wasn't to spark a race war, it was to spark more anti-government sentiment. The Boogaloo boys are a radical libertarian group. They hate cops. So I think this guy made up this thing about them wanting to blame black people so people in his audience wouldn't think the Boogaloo boys were cool. Yeah, they killed cops, but not in the based cool way we want to kill cops. Okay. This is probably the most damning evidence they have against Wendigoon, even though he's not involved in this group anymore, That's but they him. still f it up. Zane was liking tweets That's from it. people, glazing him, telling him what an amazing job he was doing for finally going after Wendigoon, our glorious Reddit white knight, basking in the attention and glory of finally slaying the bad vibes dragon. All while when yeah, much worse people to deal with and Wendigoon please saying don't harass or come and do stuff on my behalf. Wow. Dang, man, this guy is cool. Wendigoon left a nice comment on the guy's video, telling people not to be mean to this guy. Well, that sign won't stop me because I can't read. One comment I found on this guy's video was like, Loving the Wendigoon fanboys trying to deny that he's conservative. He'll get away with it because he's popular, though. He'll get away with it. Get away with what? The crime of being popular online while not agreeing with you politically? Is that what this expose is about? Wendigoon exposed. Not a communist. Nobody okay. gives a shit. So what? Bruh, if we if in South Africa do politics, we, we kind of do take politics seriously, but if we took it more seriously, yo, it will be six feet under you. If he's a conservative, is that a problem? Which the answer to that is yes. But the reason that I care is because- Dog, this is, oh, I'm so, yo, this is very uncomfortable. Because this does not belong in horror or anywhere. What the? I care deeply about horror. And everything that he does has demonstrated so far in his career that he should not be welcomed in our spaces. Or even, you know, just in public in general. Dude, you speak to the, you, dude, you're talking about this guy like he's a terrorist. Like he's the ultimate person who thinks he's... Dude, this is very uncomfortable to look at. Like he, he's talking about Wendergoon like he's the ultimate villain. Like, bruh. What? Okay, okay. What? Yeah. First of all, I assure you nobody wants to be in your space, bro. Imagine the smell. But second of all, in public? Wendigoon should not be allowed in public spaces. Wendigoon should not be allowed to exist in society because he is Twitter friends with people this guy disagrees with on Twitter. Should not be accepted within society at all. They should not be celebrated. They should be treated for what they are. Because remember kids, when somebody shows you who they are, Believe them. Well, you've told us you're a lying, manipulative hack, and I believe you. But Wendigoon's actions, words, and even comments he left on your video tell us Very he's nice. a good person. You're so lost in the sauce, you don't even realize all you Dude. did to the average viewer 
was make this guy seem like a kind person who learns and grows from his mistakes. These flimsy accusations and guilt by associations may work for the NPCs in your audience who already hated Wendigoon based on vibes, but you need to bring more to the table than unsourced Reddit comments. If you're trying to convince the average person who isn't terminally online that this guy deserves to be ostracized from society. The fact is most people have friends they don't politically agree with. Most people make edgy jokes. Many people are in to guns, many support the police, and most enjoy when pedophiles die. These yeah. things you listed as like crimes Wendigoon's friends have done in order to smear Wendigoon do not make them fascists or Nazis. They make them normal people. At the end of the day, this was just a witch hunt against a normal guy. But to these people, that is the enemy. The normal guy. They can dress it up however they want, but at the end of the day, that's what this video was. An attack on normal guys. And it's always been a war on normal guys. But hey, I'm glad you deleted the video. Hopefully yeah. you learned from this, but according to your Discord messages- Oh yeah, nobody in the video has actually reformed any of what I said. They only point out small individual things that are that are wrong, but won't actually go so far as to say that what I said wasn't right. What the fudge, dude? Everything you said wasn't right in the video. What the hell? You haven't. Anyway, that was that video. I just really wanted to stick up for someone who absolutely did not deserve all the hate. Thank you again to everyone who donates to me on Patreon. You help so much. And I will see you all real soon with a new video. Bye! Peace. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, that was um, a weird video, but I think I should react to Wendigo now, you know? I should start. No, no, I forgot his name. That's a video from Sean Head. Like and subscribe her, link in the description to the original video and channel name, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's been Triple Lens King with another video, even though it was painful to my eyes, you I hate you sure especially the, when you got to the forest part like when the fort it's just no mm -mm, that that was just painful <sighs> as I was saying it's been triple into king with another video hope you like the video like and subscribe please I did it wrong damn it